Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. Today, we're gonna give Dahlia Hawthorne the ultimate punishment. Maybe? Shall I tell you, Ms. Hawthorne? Shall I tell you where Maya is this very instant? Maya is in this very courtroom. There's only one possibility left. Namely, she's right here in this very courtroom. What? My Faye is here. She's in my courtroom. I mean, she has to be, right? Dahlia Hawthorne, I seem to recall that you said, I had misunderstood one thing, you see. So what? But I think there's one more thing you misunderstood. What do you mean? Tell me something. At this very moment, who is channeling Dahlia Hawthorne? Why, well, that, that's obvious. It's Pearl Faye, that pathetic little sniveling runt. She will eat you. Be careful. You're wrong. Pearl's tried, but she couldn't do it. I never failed at channeling someone. This is the first time it's ever happened. Isn't there any explanation of why that, why you couldn't channel a spirit? It could happen if someone else was already channeling the same spirit. Someone called me before Pearl did? But who? Well, like right now? I don't know. Before, wasn't it, Missy, you just said? Pearl's even tried again on the day after the crime, but she couldn't do it. What could that mean? I think the truth is becoming clearer to you right now. Am I right? So what did Maya, like, channel you? It wasn't Pearl's that channeled you. There was someone who called you before she could. This is an easy one. Pearl's couldn't do it, and Missy is gone. There's only one possibility left. Come on already. I can't stand the tension. Dahlia Hawthorne, the person channeling you right now must be Maya Faye. What? What? But how could that be? Remember that what this witness, Dahlia Hawthorne, said about her goal. She said that her goal was to kill Maya Faye. Yes, that's right. Thank you for repeating that. But if Maya channeled the spirit of someone that was trying to kill her... Huh. Well, Gramps, what would happen? Could... could be? It looks like you finally understand, Your Honor. Well, I don't. What are you going on about? What I'm going on about is the reason Ma uh, Maya channeled you. And there's only one reason. To protect herself from you. Oh, she understood? To protect herself from me? Yeah. On the night of the crime, you were only interested in one thing. Killing Maya Faye. The path back to Hazakura Temple was closed off and there was nowhere for her to run. So when the problem became, where would the safest place to hide? Where would be the safest place to hide? Ha! Ah, ah, ha! You mean... That's when she channeled me? All this time you thought you had been channeled by pearls. That's why it never occurred to you. That Maya's hiding place was you. No, 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 don't say that. Oh. <laughs> you, you're saying that I, Dollar Hawthorne, was played for a fool by that little whelp? I mean, yeah. My fake killed herself, isn't it obvious? Objection. Sorry, but no. I mean, okay, hey, I'm all up for this. And honestly, it is Maya. I feel like we should probably restrain her before we tell her, right? We don't want her bashing her head against the table or something, or, like, stabbing herself in the throat with something to kill Maya, yeah? Sorry, but no. It would have been impossible for her to jump through the Eel River. This was the only avenue to escape of escape open to Maya. The only way that Maya could disappear from the inner temple. Ah, uh, I don't believe you. A stupid little girl like that who has never been out in the real world. Maya's been out in the real world for a while now. She could never have come up with a plan like that. Who could have ever given her such a brilliant idea? Misty. Well, me, of course. Mia. Okay, maybe Mia. Mia Faye. Been a long time, Dollar Hawthorne. So it's true. It was you. Yes. Huh. 
You're something else. But what? What are you doing here? Can you, you couldn't have gotten baggier clothes or something? Not here, it's pearls, right? Tell me something, Dahlia. I want you to think back that night one more time. You had just cornered my Fey in the Inner Temple's garden. And then, in the final moment of the fight, you lost consciousness. I was stabbed by my Fey! Actually, Maya lost consciousness at the same time as you. She did. Not terribly surprised since, he, <laughs> since she was about to be killed. When she woke up, she was in the training hall. <sighs> That's when Maya decided she needed help, so she called me. She called me, uh, she explained in a memo the situation she was in. She asked me what I thought she should do. She did that? I don't believe it. Of course, I didn't have all the details, but one thing was perfectly clear. And that was? I knew that you couldn't be allowed to wander free. Free? What do you mean? It was a race against time, so I wrote down two things that Maya had to do. Channel Dahlia Hawthorne as soon as possible, and lock herself in the sacred cavern until help arrived. So it was Maya who put the lock on there. Yes, I just... But why did you order her to do those two things? If she hadn't done it, Dahlia Hawthorne would have been channeled by someone else. By, by one Pearl Fay. Pearls? Yeah, Pearl didn't probably understand the plan. So all she was trying to do was follow her mother Morgan Fay's instruction. She had succeeded in channeling Dahlia Hawthorne's spirit. Things would have turned out very badly, to put it mildly. So that's how it was. Dahlia Hawthorne would have used the body of Pearl Fay to kill Ma Fay at all costs. Yes, it certainly sounds like that was the intent. How dare you! I, I won't forget this! Why not just admit it, Dahlia Hawthorne? Your little plan was nothing but a big failure. Yeah, another failure to add to the pile of shame, wouldn't you say? What, what do you mean by another? Think about it, Dahlia. Remember all your past crimes? Not a single one of them was a success. They all ended in failure. What? What? How dare you? Eleven years ago... The fake kidnapping. Your very first crime. You get your hands on a two million dollar diamond, but... After Terry Falls escaped and went to meet uh, with Valier Hawthorne, the truth was exposed. Sh sh shut your mouth! That wasn't my fault! It was because of that stupid oaf of a prisoner and that weakling of a policewoman. And then, one year later, you tried to kill me. Well, I'm still alive, but... On the inside, I'm dead. <laughs> you wound up killing someone else. As a result, you were sentenced to death. And it's one stupid move after another for you. But it's no longer funny. You wipe that smug, happy-go-lucky smile off your face! And now this! <laughs> you messed up again! You let my face escape! And even though she was right there in front of you... <sighs> Grr! M Mia Fay, Mia Fay, Mia Fay, Mia Fay, you, you spinster. Oh, one second. One second. I thought that meant something else. Spinster. It's a movie. An unmarried woman, typically. No, okay, it was exactly what I thought it was. Typically, an older woman beyond the usual age of marriage. Huh. Okay, I was supposed to kill my fate like I swore I would. And if only you hadn't gotten your spice bucket head jerked the guilty verdict, I wouldn't have been hanged to death. True. But I think you finally understand, Dahlia Hawthorne. You will never defeat me. What? What did you say? Whether you're alive or dead, or somewhere in between, you'll never defeat me. 
As long as I'm around, you're destined to lose all you for all eternity. <laughs> now, I remember what you said earlier in the trial. You said there was no way you could, you could punish you because you were already dead. What about it? And then you said, even when the body dies, the spirit, the ego, it lives on forever. That's very true, Dahlia. And that's exactly the punishment you'll never be able to escape from. For all eternity, you'll have to remain as Dahlia Hawthorne, a miserable, pathetic, weak creature who will never win at anything. And for you, there's no escape from that, no hope for freedom. Since the day you were ex executed, the narrow bridge that was once stretched out in front of you was burnt to a crisp. You... Uh, you're... Wrong! It... Can't... B. How could I lose to the likes of you? It no longer matters. I don't care whether you win or lose anymore. The only thing I want is for you to come out of Maya's body right now. Uh, oh god, she's going Super Saiyan! Everyone back up! Actually, I guess it would be Super Saiyan God, wouldn't it, because of the red hair? I'm not ready. Not ready to go. Is the court on fire now? Oh my god, Maya with her hair down! N Nick? Sis? That was a neat visual effect, by the way. Now then, I assume you are... the real Iris. Yeah, I was just rescued from the sick cavern. I must say you and your twin sister are indeed identical from what I can see. In any case, it appears that everything has finally been cleared up. Mr. Godot, what happened to Dahlia Hawthorne? If you ask me, Your Honor, it looks like she went back to hell she to the hell she came from. Hmm. It seems that Misty Fay wasn't the only victim of this crime. Maya Fay, as well as the young Pearl, were also victims of this wicked selfish plan. Yes, Your Honor. Can we hang Morgan on, like, today? The tragedy of the Medium Valley has finally come to an end. It would be best for everyone to, if no further attempt was made to channel this that spirit ever again. Yeah, no shit. Huh. Your Honor. Yes, what is it? About this whole spirit medium thing. It's almost weird how comfortable you seem to be with the, the concept now. Well, to be frank, I actually shit myself. So, uh... We're gonna have to take a recess, but also my younger brother is quite judgmental. He often criticizes me for not studying hard enough. That's why I made a concerted effort to study up on the Korean channeling technique. Hey, isn't that the New Year's issue of Old Oak Hell? I've seen quite a few things in my years on the bench. And all this that time, I finally learned this one thing. Each case is different and takes place in its own world, if you will. In order to fully understand that world, first we have to immerse ourselves in it completely. And that's where... My brother and I used to differ. Huh, never thought of it that way. At any rate, it is time to pass judgment on the case of uh, Iris of Hazakur Temple. Objection. Why? Probably because we don't know how actually Misty died. You're a little too fast with that gavel, Your Honor. What do you mean by that, Mr. Godot? This trial, it isn't over yet. That's what he means. What? Trat, remember what Miss Evil Spirit said in her testimony? Huh? Dahlia's Dahlia's testimony? I caught up with her in the front of the stone lantern. Then I took out the dagger I got from the storeroom and... It's strange, but... I don't know, I don't have a clear memory of what happened after that. I think... I think I was stabbed. Just as Alia Hawthorne was attacked, I uh, was about to attack Maya. 
she was stabbed and killed by someone. Yes, that's right. That person was ultimately killed by the spirit medium that channeled Dahlia. At least Donum. No, Mr. Faye. But, who killed her? We still don't know who, the, who did it. This, this isn't over? I mean, okay. Who else was on that island? An island? Well, I guess it is kind of an island, but no, mountain? Unless someone else is found guilty, the accused is still on trial. But why? We can't let her walk away until the evidence that proves her innocence. No way. God damn it, was it Iris? This court isn't prepared to have... Oh shit, it's gonna be Iris, isn't it? This court isn't prepared to, for any further testimony. The prosecution is ready to call our final witness. Final witness? The one will clear up the whole mystery. The mystery of who killed Mr. Fay. Hmm, indeed. Is it really alright, Mr. Prosecutor? Of course it's alright, Madam Attorney. Very well then. Who is this final witness? Huh, it's gotta be Maya, right? Isn't it obvious? There's one person who saw the whole event when we put the final dagger in this case. Someone who saw the murder take place? The very person who saw her mother killed in front of her eyes. You... You mean Maya? It can't. She can't testify after what, what she's just been through. We need to find the truth. The prosecution called my fate to the witness stand. Very well. But first, we'll take a brief recess. We'll have to wait for Miss Faye to recover from before summoning her. Once we receive the doctor's permission, we will proceed with the trial. Hey, try. I got something to say to you, so listen up. What is it? I don't think much of you as a lawyer. It's always the same with you. You somehow manage to just squeak by without even a faint understanding. Hey, but I've only lost once. We're not counting the tiger one. Without even a faint understanding of the case. Some beautiful woman always seems to come dashing in in the last minute to save you. That's only happened like three times. You get some nerve. Yeah, I mean, Mia's helped like once or twice. Then Francisco busted into the court once with evidence. There's that one time Gumshoe showed up, but I mean, I won't really call him. Well, maybe, but that's not gonna happen this time. This time, you're going to have to do this by yourself. I mean, yeah, okay, that's fine. That's enough, this court is now, yeah, that's fine. She hasn't been here for every case. I'm truly sorry about everything. You were working so hard to defend me, but I was missing all day and you didn't even have a chance to talk. She's right. When I met Iris at the training hall yesterday, that was already, they were already switched places and Iris was inside the sacred cavern. I wanted to at least be in the defendant's box today to root you on. Well, it wasn't your fault. You were locked up this whole time. There's something more important than that though. I have to ask you, why did you help your sister out as much as you did? Huh? If you had tried to get help at the sacred cavern yesterday, you wouldn't have spent an entire day locked up in there. My sister, I felt sorry for her. She was abandoned by our, our mother and never got any love by our father either. Yeah, but so weren't you. Yeah, but it was the same for you, wasn't it? Yeah, but at least I had Sister Bikini who was like a mother to me. If only Dahlia had some come with me to Hazakura Temple. I always, I always loved her. Daddy was always so smart and so strong. She never complained about a thing. That's why, that's why I promised her that I would help her. Are you talking about the fake kidnapping case 11 years ago? Yeah, I, I wanted to be useful to her in some way. But, but, but as usual, I was too cowardly. At the last minute, I ran away because of that. I mean, that's understandable. I wouldn't want to take part in a fake kidnapping. Now the steps of Valerie ended up... Look, hey. They brought it upon themselves in the end. They didn't have to do any of that. It just consequences for their actions. And he was a diddler, so he deserved that. That was the case that wounded Mia so badly.
But things didn't end there, of course. Some people suspected that my sister was involved in the murder. Some people? You must mean... Yeah, two defense attorneys. Mia Faye and Diego Armando. After poisoning Mr. Armando, who was getting too close to learning the truth, Dali even tried to kill the person who had unknowingly hid the poison from her. You. That's right. Aris, there's one more thing I, I have to ask you. Yeah, what is it? On the night of the murder, the person that cleaned up the corpse of the victim, Elise Donum, was it, was it really you? Yes, it was me. That night after I rang the lights out bell, I went back to my room. At around 10.30, I received a call on my cell phone. Beep. There's a problem. Come to the Inner Temple right away. I, I got on a snowmobile and headed to the Inner Temple, but... The path of the Inner Temple was cut off, right? Oh, that was Phoenix. Exactly. We can't just leave a body here. So you got to do this exactly as I say, got it? It was me. I was the one that received a body. The murder weapon had been left in her body, so she wouldn't, wouldn't bleed too much. The stuff that uh, Mr. Galisa always hailed. I knew it. So the actual murder weapon was a staff. Yeah, that's right. I brought the body back to Hazakura Temple on the snowmobile. But why? Why did you alter the body? I didn't want anyone to know that the staff was a murder weapon. I didn't want to leave anything that would lead back to Mr. Faye. So I dressed her in a robe and stabbed her with the uh, Shichi Shido. I wiped the blood off the staff's blade and left it next to her on the ground. Iris, just tell me one last thing. Tell me the name of the person that called you on your cell phone, the real killer. Sorry, Mr. Bright. I can't do that. I can't say who did it. I see. Defendant! Y yeah The judge is calling for you. He wants you to see you in his chambers. He has some questions about Dahlia Hawthorne. Alright. Well then, I'll see you later. There's something I want to tell you. Oh, uh, okay. Something she wants to tell me. My god. Is this my popular season? Is she gonna confess? So it's true. Iris cooperated with the real killer. She's still going to jail for that, right? Then, shit. Well, conjugal visits, I guess. Yeah. Nah. Don't get involved with people in jail. Maybe even from the beginning. Phoenix. Mia. Couldn't find looser clothes, or like, I don't know, baggier clothes and pearls. We gotta get Pearl some baggier clothes. Like, I still don't even know how the hell you fit in those. Because, honestly, you should hulk out in those and just rip them apart. You would be naked, actually. Or very uncomfortable. Mia! Um, how's Maya doing? Physically, I'm not worried. She'll co recover completely. But emotionally, she's been hurt very badly by this case. I see. You don't mean... She learned who Elise Stoneham really was. Yeah, I went to the medical office and talked with her. I told her everything I knew. But why? Maya's stronger than you think. I knew she could take it. All of it. What do you mean by that? I want you to figure out the answer for yourself. The trial's about to start. The real killer, you know who it is yet. Iris wouldn't tell me who called her, but still. I think that just maybe I know who it was. That night, the victim was killed in the Garden of the Inner Temple. And the criminal wasn't just there by accident. Which means that the killer knew of Dahlia's plan from the very beginning. And one more thing. The victim was moved to Hasakura Temple side by Pendulum. In other words, the criminal couldn't cross the bridge. That means they were stuck on the Inner Temple side for almost the entire day. Exactly. So the culprit was someone that wasn't in Hasakura Temple the following day. That's as much help as I can give you. The rest of the battle is yours to win, or lose. Okay, I got it. Thank you, Mia. 
Finally! It's almost time to bring this case to an end. So it can only be one person, right? Well, obviously, Clarence, of course it could only be one of It's not that hard to figure out, Clarence. Yeah, I know, but it's just like... Is that weird? Well, I guess we'll figure... Well, I'm not gonna... I Look. I'm just gonna say this as I take a sip of my coffee that I'm pretty sure I know who it is. But I'm not gonna talk about it until the case. What exactly did Maya see, anyways? And who was it that actually killed Misty Fay? Whoever it was, I have to prove it. Me, all by myself. Like a lot of my cases. To be continued. I didn't actually take some of my coffee. I'm gonna do that now, though. Ah, delicious cold brew coffee. All right, that is gonna be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye.